Ladies and gentlemen, this is a very special day. It's special because it's a landmark event. This, you say, is the first of this kind of chapter for the nurses. I think th that Kenya is a leader, and I want to congratulate you for this. My association with Exacon began way, way back, maybe close to 20 years ago now, when as a communication specialist I was asked to edit the Exacon story. And so I know the Exacon story very well. So I think it was one of, one of those things that you say it was ordained to happen that I would be, uh, you know, here today as, as one of you. You have made me one of you. Thank you so much. But, you know, it's not really you who made me one of you. I'm one of you in uh, another very special way. You may not know but my late mother was a Kenya registered nurse. So I grew up within nursing. Who will remember nurse Rosemel Buyu? Anyone in the room? That's my mother. Some one of you, I grew up with her and I saw her commitment and service to humanity. Um, so I've, you know, been sort of drawn towards health and, uh, you know, the closeness with, with you as the nurses, uh, it, it was preordained. But it gives me joy because I know that nursing is a calling, or at least it should be. I know sometimes people choose professions, or you end up in a profession because somebody else put you there, or because you think it's a, an easy way to make money or to, to gain some importance or anything else. But at the end of the day, Nursing is not possible unless you're committed to it, unless you take it as a calling. So I just want to encourage you as you serve humanity to always remember that it's really not about you. You have such an important role, as Governor Tichilo pointed out, it is a very important role. It's noble. Not only are you making up the majority of the health workforce, but you're vital to the process. Uh, because when you're not there, lives are lost and people despair. So it's, it's so important to serve with complete dedication. Um, this week, uh, we have uh, been visiting a couple of counties. We started off on Monday here in Kisumu, and uh, yesterday we were in Bungoma. Today, I have a team that has gone to Kakamega, and we're visiting the cancer facilities in these counties. Because cancer is becoming such a, a menace. And just realize that the number of people who are dying because of cancer has really increased. And we need to know why. And we also need to address it. So uh, as County First Ladies, we have a program called Empower and we have been visiting 
We are visiting about eight counties to pilot this to find out what's going on and what can we do to bridge the gaps. We're meeting with the health professionals and the nurses are a very important part of this process. So we will be sharing what we find and we'll come up with a work plan to see what to do to bridge the gap in the counties. Um, I've looked at the program. You have an array of, you know, very good um, sessions coming up this afternoon, tomorrow. It's really exciting. And I just want to encourage you to participate, to learn. Life is a learning process, so learn as much as you can. It equips you to serve even better. Now, on behalf of the governor of Kisumu County, Governor Nyang Nyongo, I'd like to welcome you in, into Kisumu. Enjoy Kisumu. The weather is perfect. It's warm, sometimes too warm, but this is not one of the warmest times. So enjoy this weather. It also rains a lot and that brings us fresh air. And then we have a lot of touristic sites. So I hope that they've given you time to visit the amazing Kitmikai and that you'll also get a chance to eat the fish, uh, the best fish in the country. So as you deliberate and uh, empower yourselves, I, I pray that you will be blessed during your stay in Kisumu. God bless you. <laughs>